Welcome back to the channel. I am Jessica. This is Melissa. We are Jam Strength Academy and today we're going to talk about what is better for fat loss, calorie cycling or carb cycling. Before we get into it, make sure you like this video. Video? Like the channel. Like, video. like the video, hit the subscribe button and also press the little bell. That way you get notified every time we drop a new live video. Also make sure you check out our complete calorie cycling guide for fat loss in the description below. We literally give you every single thing that we teach our one-on-one -on -one clients and it's gonna be super helpful to reference after you watch this video. I know I'm interrupting your video, but really quickly, today is Monday, September 12th, and we are kicking off our Fit for Fall Calorie Cycling Challenge inside of our free Facebook group. Registration just reopened and we're accepting 50 more people in. So if you wanna sign up, make sure you comment below and we'll get you a registration form. Let's get back to the video. So I feel like we get this question all the time. We primarily teach calorie cycling and everyone's always like, well, what about carbs? cycling like which one is actually better for my goals or like I've heard of carb cycling I don't know about calorie cycling like yeah which one's better to help me lose fat and I feel like the answer to literally almost every question is it depends I think first we need to understand like what the main difference is between calorie cycling and carb cycling calorie cycling is simply a mix of high and low days that at the end of the week it nets out to a pre-calculated like calorie total so for example and it should, just using us as an example, like over the course of seven days, if you had to have 7,000 calories in a traditional diet, you would have like 1,000 calories every day to get that weekly total of 7,000 calories. When you calorie cycle, you would have higher and lower calorie days throughout the week. So one day you might have 700 calories, another day you might have 1,300 calories, but still at the end of the week, you'd still get that total of 7,000 calories. So that's calorie cycling. And in calorie cycling, you're only tracking the calories. When it comes to carb cycling, we're now talking about tracking macros. Macros are short for macronutrients and they're like the three building blocks that your body needs in large quantities in order to like survive and thrive. So three macronutrients are proteins, carbs, and fats. Each one of those macronutrients has a caloric value. One gram of protein has four calories, one gram of carbs has four calories, and one gram of fat has nine calories. So when we're talking about carb cycling, we're still going to have high and low calorie days. On the high calorie days, you're simply manipulating the carb macro. So your higher calories are going to come predominantly from carbohydrates. I think that for the general population, for a lot of our lifestyle clients, we have women who have come to us who have never even eaten this many calories before in their lives. The last thing that we wanna do when you're coming from things like Weight Watchers or Jenny Craig or meal replacement shakes or keto or anything else, we don't wanna just throw macros at you because it's gonna be really hard for you, number one, to eat that many calories and number two, for you to like make sure you're figuring out like how much protein, carbs and fats you're eating every single day. So I think the other thing with that too, just wanna to jump in is because most of those like brand name diets, like the diets with the name keto, Atkins, whatever it is, they always have these arbitrary like rules and restrictions around food. And so most of the women that do come to us, they have a really damaged relationship with food. What we don't wanna do when you come in is start to again, assign more rules around food. Like yeah. you have to have this much protein or you failed and this many carbs or you failed. So calorie cycling in that sense, I feel like it's yeah. easier to help heal the relationship with yeah. food. We always start everyone with just counting calories and a protein goal, just so that you can kind of like get your feet wet into this new style of flexible dieting. It's kind of like we're teaching you, it is okay to eat food. You don't have to just eat like diet foods or good foods. You can't eat other things even restricting. At the end of the day, like at a very, very, very basic level, losing weight comes down to calories in versus calories out very basic level. When you're asking the question, is calorie cycling or carb cycling better for fat loss? Both can be. It just depends on you as a person and what your goals are. So if, but you'd essentially be doing the same thing. And this is the part that most people have a hard time like wrapping their head around is all of your macronutrients, your proteins, your carbs, and your fat, they're all going to roll up to the same overall calorie goal that you would have if you were calorie cycling. So the calories in are going to be the same whether you're carb cycling or calorie cycling, the only difference when you are carb cycling versus calorie cycling is that you're accounting for and tracking the quantity of carbohydrates you're eating specifically. And like you said, I think for most people, tracking that number is not a magic bullet. It's not gonna move the needle any faster than simply tracking calories and like a protein range. Yeah. Do you wanna talk about reasons why we might have clients? Yeah, I was gonna say, so 
there, if, if you're if you're someone who is kind of brand new to this and you're wondering, well, what might the reason be for some clients to track macros and is it right for you? We have clients track macros who maybe are a little bit more advanced, who might have like gut health issues that are, you know, athletes who are training really heavy in the gym. That way we can have them like eat a higher amount of protein higher amount of carbs, kind of lower the fats a little bit. Insulin sensitivity. Yeah, exactly. So there are reasons outside of purely like, oh, you know, you're going to lose more fat if you do macros. It's it's more for like Lifestyle specific purposes. reasons yeah. why we're customizing your, your nutrition. And it's usually people who we've worked with who have gone through six months to a year of counting calories with a protein goal. And then we move you to macros. It doesn't really have to be one or the other. Like we have had some clients who kind of go back and forth with like during the week, they count macros and carb cycle. And on the weekends when they want more flexibility, they count calories and calorie cycle. I think so, that's, that's usually the best for most like lifestyle clients. If you don't have like, if you're not like a serious athlete where you're training like really aggressively every week, if you don't have insulin sensitivity issues, if we're not having like sleep or stress issues, digestive issues, anything like that, then we can always do like that mix, right? Where we have more structure during the week and maybe you enjoy that structure because you know, your days more or less look the same when you go to work. You yeah. kind of can plan out your, your weeks a little bit better, but then the weekends are when things start to fall apart it feels a little bit messy and when we give you that level of rigidity if you have to hit like these buckets so perfectly that can lead to more often than not you feeling like okay I'm failing because I'm consistently not hitting those macro targets so in that case it makes more sense to calorie cycle on the weekends that way you're still hitting that overall calorie goal like you are during the week we're just hitting it in a different capacity so again if you are someone that's new here or if you're just starting out and following us, make sure you check out our complete calorie cycling guide for fat loss. It's gonna help you get your feet wet. You're gonna kind of learn about exactly what calorie cycling is, what the benefits are, exactly how to set up your own custom calorie cycle and how to track your progress. So it's gonna be really, really helpful for you. Make sure you check that out. It's in the description below and we'll see you next time.